Good morning everyone and welcome to the PhD vlog day 21. 10 days to go and then we're done with this. Amazing. Uh, where has the month gone? Very, very quickly. Uh, so um, every Saturday that I've vlogged so far this month I've worked, I've been in the library and today I clearly I'm not in the library right now. Uh, so I'm in my local suburb heading out to get some breakfast. I've decided to not go into the library today. Originally I had planned to have Saturday off, um, but because yesterday I didn't get enough work done because I had to take myself to the vet, etc. Um, I don't think I can justify having a day off, unfortunately. I'm just not going to hit my long-term goals if I take too many days off. So I'm working from home for a couple of hours in the morning and then have a hair appointment, which is why I'm not bothering to go into the library because uh, it's not worth it when I factor in the transport time. It is 10 past 12 and I'm at my desk at the moment doing some work. Um, so, yeah, what have I been doing today? Well, I've been having computer woes firstly, which is the surefire way to send any writer or researcher into a foul, foul mood. Uh, so I'm having problems with my charging cable. Basically, the plastic covering has split and the wires have started fraying and I have to make sure that the cord is at like a very very precise angle uh, in order for my computer to get any juice. Um, so yeah, I think it's a matter of time before the charger completely dies as well, uh, which is not ideal. Anyway, other than my computer woes, I have spent today mainly doing teaching stuff. Uh, so I've got a kind of end of term meeting about my teaching this year on Tuesday. And so I was just going over all the marking that I've done this term because I'm handing that over to be second marked now. Uh, and I just wanted to look at everything comparatively. So I've been marking the students um, individually week by week. And then I wanted to look at them in comparison to one another to check that I think that my marking um, has been to the same standard every week and that there haven't been weeks when, you know, I've been in a good mood or weeks when I've been in a bad mood and that's kind of affected the um, lens through which I do my marking. I think it's always important to double check everything like that. So I've done that and now I'm on to my conference papers. I'm feeling a bit cranky about my conference papers today because as you know, if you've been watching this vlog, I finished my chapter on Tuesday night and I haven't started writing any of the conference papers so I've been doing some like preliminary work on them uh, and on the chapter on which they're based but I've had so many bits and pieces on since Tuesday and today um, whether it's been teaching, marking, I had to look at that book that was in German. I just had so many things to do um, that I haven't actually started writing the papers and I, I just feel a bit it's really hard because on the one hand I know that all those things that I have been doing needed to be done. Uh, but on the other hand I feel like I've let myself down because I've had kind of three days already that I could have been working on these papers that I haven't. Um, it's really hard, this is one of the, the most stressful things I think about doing a PhD, understanding that those other tasks are a valued part of the process and not not getting strung up on the fact that you can't spend every working hour on concrete PhD things like actually writing a draft of a thesis or a thesis chapter or a draft of a conference paper. That's something that I always struggle with. Anyway, hi guys. Uh, so it is now about five o'clock. I'm back from my hair appointment. Ta-da! I'm not sure what I think of it just yet. It's kind of very... I don't know what you call that out there very round hi guys and welcome to part two of the weekend vlog so obviously this has turned into one one two day weekend vlog uh, because i didn't finish the video yesterday uh so last time i checked in i think it was about five i ended up with a raging headache so yeah i ended up just kind of staying in bed last night um but that's fine i'm feeling a fair bit better today although not about my hair i think i've kind of ended up with like the rachel from friends haircut. It is quarter to nine um, and I will shortly be starting work on my conference papers because I only got about three hours worth of work done on Saturday and obviously on Friday because of my teaching and marking I didn't get a lot done either. Thank you for the cough. Hi guys, so it is now one o'clock and I don't really have much to report today. I'm just about to have some lunch and then heading back to the desk for 
the afternoon hoping to kind of make some more progress on my conference papers. Finding it a bit overwhelming trying to do two papers and um, edit a chapter at the same time. I'm not sure how this strategy is going to work out for me. Uh, if I'm going to have to stop doing these three things at once. Um, but I'm going to try and persevere with it. Good evening guys. So I am coming to you now from the kitchen. It's about 7 o'clock I think. Maybe a bit after? 20 past 7 on Sunday evening. Um, and Ben and I are currently making dinner. We're having pizzas tonight. And uh, looking at the different ways that we make pizzas I think tells you a lot about our personalities. So uh, this one is my pizza. Excuse the mess on the kitchen bench. Um, so I have a courgette pizza. It's got some goat's cheese underneath and some chili flakes and some nuts and some lemon zest. And Ben has a potato pizza. In contrast to my heap of courgette, he has very, very neat concentric circles. <laughs> anyway, I'm sure both pizzas will be very nice, uh, irrespective of how they are put together. Yeah, so I haven't vlogged very much today. Sorry about that. Um, but it's been a bit of a um, frustrating day, so I haven't... I feel like I say there's so many days of my vlog, I haven't accomplished what I set out to do. Um, but I guess that's just part of the PhD process. Um, so, as you know, this weekend I wanted to kind of really kickstart those two conference papers of mine uh, and do the final editing of the chapter on which they're based. I want to get it to a second, what is it, the penultimate draft stage before submission. Um, yeah, anyway, surprise, I didn't... Um, achieve all that much. Uh, so I think this is kind of a similar thing to what happened with the beginning of editing chapter four, just kind of trying to build momentum um, with the new task and kind of struggling a little bit to get into my groove with that. Um, I also had the dra drama with my laptop charger, so Ben ended up having to go out and get me a new charger, which was very chivalrous of him to do that, and I am very, very grateful that he got me a new charger um, because that was like really really stressing me out a lot I had to hold the charging cable at a very very precise angle and I couldn't let it go in order for my laptop to get any battery um, and so you can imagine when I'm already a bit on edge just how that was kind of making me feel uh, anyway so it's got it's got battery now I've got a new charger and yeah I have been doing some work on the papers reading through my chapter and I have different colored pens for which which kind of bits of the chapter I want to put into different into the two different conference papers and for the first conference paper the one that's on the 31st of March I feel like I have a good um, plan of what I want to go into that um, and that's the one that I'll write first because that is the soonest one uh, so I'm going to be working on that I hope that I can have a full draft of it on Tuesday. I'm hoping I can pluck a couple of paragraphs straight from the chapter and then just um, encase them in a f bit of new kind of contextualizing material. Um, and hopefully when I come to write the second one as well, it's a similar thing that I can pluck a couple of paragraphs out. I'm not trying to condense my chapter into these conference papers. They're very much uh, looking at very particular aspects of the chapter. So it's another 22,000 word chapter and I'm just looking at kind of um, minute aspects of the argument. I'm feeling good going ahead into those um, this week. I feel like I finally am a bit clear headed about where I'm going and what I want to achieve with those papers, which is good. Yeah, and um, hopefully I can keep um, this focus because tomorrow I'm not going to be doing much work because I've got a very exciting event to attend. I'm going to um, a kind of a workshop on digital humanities. Um, so that's at the University of Warwick, so I've got travel time to get there and then I'll be busy at the event all day. But I think it's one of those things that although I'm sacrificing a bit of time, it's going to be really worth my while going forward to kind of see how I can learn the skill, see how I can use the skills that I'm kind of currently gaining and experimenting with um, and what the value of those are, how I should be talking about them when I'm like on the job market in the future. Okay guys, so the pizzas have just come out of the oven so I'm going to sign off uh, here. I hope you've had a great weekend. I will look forward to joining you again tomorrow morning, bright and early. See you guys later. Hi. Hi. Again. We thought we'd uh, film this because this is going to be quite funny. 
This is going to be a test of Emma's typing skills. And as she <laughs> is a third year PhD student, she surely knows her way around the typeboard, or the keyboard, keyboard. rather. There's 52 words and only a minute to get all 52 I'm words. I'm doing my finger stretches. My prediction is she'll get to about 35. But I don't often watch Emma type, so maybe I know nothing. What do you think? I don't know. I don't want to say I'm going to get to 52 on my first attempt. What do you get to say? 32? I think 35. Okay, I think I can get 42. 42? Yeah. Okay, so I'll be filming live <laughs> so you won't miss a stroke of a key. Yeah. So I'll just show you the website. Sparkle.com and we are ready to begin. Okay, so I press play. You press play. Okay. I'll read out the words that she has to type. Glass. Okay, I'm careful you wine glass. Ape. Bib. Cow. You get the idea. She's typing away. She's at nine words. Shut up! She's gone. She's mowing along. Ooh, up to five letters. Five letter words. She's got 19 already. Shut up. 20. She's got 35 seconds. She should smash my... Shut up, Ben. She's very competitive. Very, very competitive. <laughs> Whoop, she's on what? Six letter words now. 20 seconds. Whoop. She's doing well. Seven letter words. She's going for it. Don't even have She's going words. for it. She's going for it. Oh, 44. No. Oh, 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 I missed it. Oh no. 44. I thought I was going to win. In a minute. Oh. 44 I, I, in a minute. I, <laughs> How do you feel? I'm disappointed because I thought I was going to get to 52. Wait, hold it. Did you hear that? Her target for me was 35. I took it for herself was 42. Yeah, but then and I she's dis going. Uh, she's disappointed in herself because she only got 44. High expectations. Bloody hell. I don't even know these words. What's a hycopene? It's it's a typing challenge. It's not a, not a know the word challenge. Yeah, but it's hard to type the words when you don't know. Oh, should we just make it easy? Okay, I want another go. Okay, ciao ciao. Ciao ciao.